We proudly welcome you to Dream Home 2015, the annual show house at the Merchandise Mart. This renowned designer showcase is open Monday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. through December 6th. Dream Home represents the unparalleled beauty created when leading Chicago interior design firms collaborate with the immeasurable resources housed in the showrooms on the design center floors 6, 14, 15, and 16, and select boutiques on the first floor. We hope you find your tour of Dream Home inspiring and informative. Should you have any questions about products, resources, or interior designer services, please ask the Dream Home Concierge, consult with the Dream Home Directory, or visit designcenter.com backslash dreamhome. My name is Marshall Herb, and I'm of Marshall Herb Design, and I designed the foyer. The inspiration from this room came from the uh, grand apartments of Rosario Candela in New York. And they were these beautiful spaces off of the elevator that you would enter and it would be a grand volume of space where you could receive your guests and have parties at night or hang your artwork. So it was really that gallery-like aspect that led me to the creation of this room. What I think is interesting about the many of the items that are in the space is the interplay uh, and the connection between modern design and historic design. The wall covering came from Area International here on the uh, 14th floor of the Merchandise Mart and harkens back to the limestone walls that you would see in a grand entrance hall in a private mansion in New York. And from there, the design then developed into some other aspects, too. The rug, which is of my design, was from Watson Smith here at the Merchandise Mart. And the inspiration came from a Japanese antique painting. The table in the center of the room uh, is a design of my own, which was made through the Diorora showroom. And it harkens back to a Art Deco design uh, that I saw in Miami during Art Basel week. And we uh, had this fabricated out of Macassar Ebony and Walnut. Furthering that idea was the 1970s antique Tom Green brass chandelier overhead that really sets the stage. The chair behind me is by Laura Carrar from McGuire Furniture. One thing that I always like to balance out in every space is sort of address what some may call the feng shui of the space and that is balancing out all of the materials in the room. So from stone to wood to glass to fabrics, I like to make sure that we have a a good blend of all of those materials to create some harmony. And that a perfect example of that is the beautiful Jacques Garcia for Baker desk uh, with, that is made out of cast bronze and cherry wood. In the other corner we have a beautiful console table that is very much modern in design, sort of a Miesian in its inspiration, done in steel with a white gold covering from Dessin Fournier. If anything, I want the foyer to be a dramatic space that it provides a memory point for every guest that visits. And I think every home should have that as well. So just being able to come through and have a wow moment when you enter and when you leave a space, I think is really important for every home. And it's also very important for Dream Home. My name is Tom Siegel. And I'm David Kaufman, and we are Kaufman Siegel Design, and we did the study. So as a team, we decided to sit around and talk about what we thought would be used in a study in a home today. So together, we all came up with different thoughts about using it for um, a place to lounge, a place to sit by a fire, a place to have a drink. We started with this beautiful rug from Tefunkian, and it sort of started our palette. And then we moved on to the wall coverings. We picked a woven Maya Romanoff wall covering, and then we paired that with a hair on hide wall covering from Kyle Bunting that's represented at the South Lowland Showroom. We wanted to feature this amazing fireplace as a focal point for the room. And Trans Ceramica, which is repped at Hastings, provided the slabs for the fireplace. We knew we wanted a pair of chaises to really create a really sexy room and went to Kravit for those, then looked for a desk, and we went to Bright Furniture for that. We also, in our own design, we sometimes use the contract showrooms and the residential showrooms. So for a desk chair, we went to HBF, which then relates to the deco piece of furniture behind it, which is from Interior Crafts. HBF also provided the wool sateen that we used in the drapery. We selected from Bright a chair and ottoman, and uh, we paired that with a table from Therian, which is represented at Dessin Fournier. And we also have a bar behind that from Atelier Gary Lee, which is filled with uh, Lalique glassware, stemware, and Christophe bar accessories. 
We really like the way the Evan Lewis uh, side tables, the bronze tones, just really have a really handsome feel to them, a really strong feel as side tables, place to put down a book while you're reading, a place to put down a drink while you're having a drink, that sort of thing. The sconces, which I think are really interesting, both from Paul Ferrante and from Dustin Fournier, give this very interesting sort of luxe industrial feeling, which create texture and mood, as well as the piece from CTO, which is the central focus of the room. We went to Julian Chichester to get a pair of etagères, which uh, display all the books and collectibles. We think it's really important to have collectibles in a room because that gives the room personality and sort of reflects the people that live in the space. I'm Frank Fontana, owner of Frank Fontana Home Solutions, and I designed the bedroom. So my inspiration for the room really was to combine a Midwest sensibility with a touch of a glamorous downtown lifestyle, because to me, that's really what Chicago style is all about. I wanted to base the room really with organic elements, uh, wood tones really. So we started from the ground up with our lower wall treatments, which are actually made from a reclaimed particle board. And as we move up into the walls, this is where the glamour really starts. The wall coverings from Maya Romanoff are just stunning. They make this room come to life. We have the metal fleck, and then you see the on the walls here with the uh, square panels and metallic finishes. You know, it's, it's, it's an art to create a room that is both glamorous and grounding at the same time. So the mirrored elements in the room are really prominent. So from the large mirror from CAI, we have these beautiful sconces from Mike Bell. And uh, again, CAI provided some of the um, entry mirrors with the branches on them. The bedding is from designer linen source here at the Mart. Uh, Bradley USA provided this fantastic sheepskin bench that sits in front of the bed. And then Keenan Leathers provided this great animal skin rug. I mean, there's so much going on. And in chaos, sometimes you find simplicity. And that's the key to great design, is when you can merge all these textures, all these layers, all these reflective materials, but still feel serene enough to be a bedroom. To me, that's just art. Now, some of the more functional pieces in the room, like the dresser from Mike Bell, is really a, a one-of-a-kind piece. It's, it has the carryover, the, the reflective mirrored materials, although it be slightly distressed, um, I think it kind of fits into the room. The two end tables next to the bed, the side tables, are custom made by D'Aurora, which they did a fantastic job. And the colors are a beautiful tone. They're a little bit lighter than what's going on in the rest of the room, but because of the lighting in the space and the rest of the gray tones, it kind of picks up on that. The nail head detail on it is stunning. They did a fantastic job. You know, met with the folks at CAI and they, you know, helped me pick the right bed. And that bed started to carve the rest of the design. So it had mirrored elements to it, the March Carson bed. And then we transitioned to the art. Now, Dear Aurora provided a, 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 some of the sculptural elements in the room, like this large sculpture sitting on the floor, which is just, you know, on its own, just beautiful. Over my shoulder, there's this beautiful portrait from Bradley uh, USA, which is just stunning. It makes that corner of that room come to life. I'd have to say the wall coverings really did such a huge statement in the space. I'd want to live here if they gave me the option.